Twitter? Or is it just nah. a bunch of R's? No? Don't do Twitter? I don't have enough R's. I mean... <sighs> Alright, so we got... Oh, alright, well, there you go. We got Age of Symphonia. Okay, so... So we're a couple of Mario players. All right, we're Mario mains. There are a couple of Mario princesses. Oh, what is Oryx main? Peach. Peach. Oh, so we're gonna watch the girls just duke it out. Yep. Yeah. Girls oh, we've got a, we've got our Luma counter. Oh man, it's a girls' night out, man. Oh. This is after the club. Had a couple of shots, a little beer. They're just going, just going out, man. It's like, hey, I saw you looking at my man. Trust me, I've seen this scenario a lot of times. Shout out to all my exes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're going to Smash Bill. Good old starter bill. Great stage for Peach, by the way. I heard she has a very good uh, area that kind of kills. I'm not sure what it is, though. It's also really great for Mage for Symphonia. I'd say in this matchup, it just depends on who's a who's better at using the tools that abuse that platform. Yeah, definitely. I I, I personally think that Oryx is quite good with that fair off stage. I think. Anyway. Hmm. Whew. I mean, already. So so let's take bets now. Who thinks they're going to see Rosa Jank this set? We're going to see a little bit of Jank from both parties, I believe, man. Both of these characters just uh. Being able to cheese out, uh, cheese out their opponent. We, I mean, we've seen that we've seen the reverse uh, upbees from Peach. We've also seen the the soft yeah, up but that, to that up can airs. only that can only happen from like zero percent. Rosa up though up air up air can happen at like. I mean that a can happen at any percent of Peach. Oh there you no, go. No it can't. There you go. All right. Speaking of up airs, Mage already trying to land some. Right. Doing a little, doing a little too something with that S smash, but you know what? Didn't get punished, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, good, just good awareness by me. Just being able to hold shield and just being aware that the hitbox is coming. So, Oryx is already, already feeding for, for the stock with this S smash. That L smash would have definitely probably maybe taken a stock up there in that platform. Uh, Nanwar wins foot on Wednesdays. He's, he's won those a couple of times. Those are, uh, zero dollar tournaments, though. Right. They're, there you uh, go. Oh my goodness, look at this pressure. usually have like nine people. Uh, look at this pressure by Oryx just being able to keep Mage just running back to the corner, but you know what? Mage just answering back. And definitely not letting that phase him. Alright, Luma back on deck. Oh, there you go. Oh, good stuff by Oryx, just being able to stay alive with that DI. Ooh, there you go. Ca caught him slipping. Caught him slipping. It's gonna get an up air for that fair. Ooh. Oh, yeah. D Peach is not having anything with that. Oh, great tech by Mage. Mage has got to be ready for these techs. I mean, his character basically demands it. Oh yeah, definitely no hitbox on that upbeat. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna be challenged a lot of times. Yeah, I'd say against a very good Rosaluma player, you'd be better off trying to gimp them off of the stage rather than against the stage. Right. A lot of the time, if you have the option. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Well, that was a slap. Oh yeah, that was a slap. Oh, that was a light slap. It's like you know yeah, what? There's more to know come with that. Peach actually might have a rather all right matchup against Rosalie and Luma because Peach can cover uh, Rosa's recovery with her down air. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely that multi hit would definitely. Yeah. Uh, put no, some it trouble. totally, it totally just intercepts the whole situation. Mm -hmm, definitely. Super definitely. But you know what else is super definite? Mm. Luma can kill. Oh yeah, Luma can kill. Well, you. Luma's dead. Yeah, Luma, Luma's dead. You can also kill Luma. You also for the Luma counters <laughs> on five guys. It's five, a, six Lumas. Not even one stock eliminated yet. Hmm. One as, stock eliminated. There you go, as you six say Lumas. It. As you say, shout out to commentators curse. <laughs> oh, there you go. Gonna get rid of that Luma. Did Luma able to do so? Luma Luma's gone to dark. Luma's gone uh gone Luma's getting 
A little unhappy with this game. Oh yeah, definitely. That's definitely the dark. Alright, that's uh, seven. Dip. Shout out to whoever is uh, keeping up this Luma counter. Go, let's go source office. Woo! Oh. Oh, that could have comboed. Oh yeah, that could have yeah, definitely led to trouble. That was a shield poke. I'm liking Oryx's just pressure just to keep uh, Rosalina by the corner. It's, I, you and know, I say that, just Rosalina's just answering back with her own areas. Yeah, or Oryx is actually ha able to handle a lot of Rosaluma situations because or actually has a secondary, or Oryx actually has a secondary Rosaluma. So he, he knows how to play the character and understands the character's jank. Oh, definitely. At this point, you need so, to know. So anyway, let's talk about how this game is really close now. So this could be like, you know, 20 damage and any... Kill move from either character at this point. Mm -hmm. Wow, Mage of right, three call out. two regular hit -ups. Hop. Yeah, for sure. So Mage trying to go for the for, for the for the cheese. Up and through the platform. Alright, Luma back on deck. Alright, the Luma was a little oh. too far away. Oh, that's a little too much. Oryx with the crazy balls. Alright, this ups. is definitely okay. this is definitely time for Oryx. He needs to make the most out of this. Fortunately, he's gonna be able to oh! take the Luma and that There stop. we go. The butt will take it. The butt, the butt bounce. Oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. Oh yeah, throw it right back, baby. Gonna get you that first game. All right, so very close, uh, very close game from Oryx and uh, Mage. Yeah, uh, could have gone either way, to be honest. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a game three. <laughs> All right, uh, we is already this, know what happens is, on this stage. Is this dead Luma counter going up through the whole set? That is awesome. Yeah. I love that. It's clearly uh, just MS painted X's over the eyes. That is like, oh, that is so great. Mm. Luma already dead. 11% uh, yeah. damage on Rosa. Yeah, Oryx ain't having it. Definitely ain't having it. Oh, no, look so, at these dust matches. Just being yeah. able to go through uh, these platforms. And, uh, and I believe the Uptos also go up. Uh, above the uh, platform so we're gonna be seeing a lot of that and a lot of joke situations from uh from mage if you can able to be able to lance or some so mage was winning all the neutral engagements for the last time they had luma gone right and right. now luma's back so let's see if mage is gonna win even gonna deal even more damage to oryx who's failing to really there we go as i say it you know deal the damage where it matters now i mean exactly i, I literally say it and he starts doing it but <laughs> you know yeah, no. There you go. Look at this. So now their damages are very even, except for that. So these mm -hmm. these are these are our princesses. Shout out for Mario players watching our uh, <laughs> watching our wives, you know, uh, battle know, it out. I, I don't mind these two women going at uh, going at it because I hate the friggin' Rosa and Princess Peach matchup. They can beat up, beat themselves up all for all I care. <laughs> But, look, but I want you to see like how instantly like Oryx gets rid of this Luma is just be just being aware of like whatever kill options are available for it and you know what fair is also gonna be another kill option but for Rosa so um, first stop you, you, you are so right about how quickly Oryx is taking care of Luma he, he, he clearly knows how to deal with Luma yeah you definitely gotta know the, know the moves that are gonna be able to send Luma flying to the point that where she just instantly dies Right. Yes. You don't want to be just racking up damage on Luma. You want to just instantly get her out of the situation, and just you know, just make the most of the 12 seconds. I believe. Ooh, that up smash though, gotta decimate Peach's stock. Right. Hmm. All right, there you go. Another dead Luma. We're already at 13 dead Lumas. 13 dead Lumas. All right. All right. Look. Look at the Oryx. Like, despite the uh, the, the stage pick. Uh, Battlefield notorious for being a good stage for uh, Rosalina Luma. Uh, it looks like Oryx knows, knows better than I do when it comes to this matchup and this stage. So, well, he also knows how to play Peach better than I do. Oh yeah, that too. I think I think both of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at this. Look at this movement. He's just like kicking back. He's trying to make uh, Maze just like commit to something and just caught him slipping right there and then. Hmm. Step two, three. Did not kill Luma that time. I was rather surprised. Oh. I did not like that up smash. That was... Yeah, that would have been a heck Ooh. of a call out. He was definitely looking for it and filling it. But, you know, who's filling it? Maybe just keeping... Ooh, just, that was... That was... Scary. I didn't like that up smash either. And Luma is gone. That makes once, our counter go up to 14. Once more. 
Let's see if right. Mage can, can get uh, continue to win some neutral with no Luma around. Oh, nice paper grab. He's going to be able to chunk him out the stage and buy him some time for Luma. And as, as I say, Luma's back on back, back on action. There you go. Ooh. Boy. That next up smash might be but able it, to take it. Yeah, but Peach is not Ooh. dead yet. Ooh, there you go. Uh, Mage oh, able stuff. to save Luma. Ooh, okay, now this is a situation you don't want to be in. Ooh, all right, good stuff being able to just, like, go in and out and... You're still living. Shout out to Battlefield. Big old stage. You're gonna live for a cool minute. Uh oh. Yeah, this is definitely not something you want to be Man, in. And Mage, Mage is pressuring with Luma over there. Ooh. But is it all just a bait for something oh. else? There we go. Up smash. Taking it 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Going to game three for this princess battle. You know, these characters are wearing our crowns. <laughs> and these characters are rocking it. All right, game three. Like I mentioned, not surprised we're going to game three. Go for these games have been last dog, last hit. So Over we're back. turning back to battlefield. I guess Oryx feels like you know what? It wasn't the stage. It was me. I may have made some mistakes. So. We're gonna try to fix that up real quick and look at this already strong opening by Oryx. It only matters until the opening, until the game is no longer in the open stage. Until it says game. Until it says game. Until it says game. <laughs> Luma counters at 15. Yep. Oh, look 15. at that. Look at this. All right, this is definitely where you want to keep Oryx at. You definitely want to. Keep them in the platforms and just shark as uh, Rosalina. Just throw out these up airs, up toes, and just, you know, rack up all the damage until you can get a uh, kill percentage and you, and, you know, just let her rip. So Oryx still hasn't died to any uh, Luma Jank so far. Oh, no, definitely not. Just shows you how aware of uh, Oryx is of this character, but whew, let's talk about that us smash. That was disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Oryx already in the lead. If he wins this game, that will move him on to winner's finals. Winner's finals, man. Uh-oh, down there is going to be able to get rid of that Luma. Mage in a sticky situation. Hmm. Down air combos. This oh. is not looking good for Mage. Mage is at almost... He, he's almost been lapped by Oryx in this game three. Right. And it's only a three-game set. You know, he doesn't have a best of five to come back and, you know, make 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 the best of it. He, he just, you know, if he loses his game, he goes to the loser's bracket. Right, yeah. It's just... just this is uh, the things you need to, like, kind of be aware of whenever dealing with a best of three. You got to be able to dab quick. You got to be able to uh, adjust the changes. Uh, on the fly because otherwise next thing you know it you're already in game three on your last stock and your opponent is on still on the second stock and you're in a sticky situation all right all right okay that, i appreciate otherwise. that yeah first desk i appreciate that thank you all right here we go Oh nice man! Going there to just keep this is Rosalina. this is really not looking good for Mage right now. Ooh, that, oh, that was a little too much, but uh, fortunately he's just gonna have a grab as a punish. Didn't get to see the dare or nair on time, but you know, so as long as he keeps the second stock, he's not gonna be uh, falling victim to any crazy rage. Think we're gonna see a two stock? You think it's gonna happen? Oh. Ooh, nope. It's not hey, gonna happen. Yeah, Mage saying otherwise is like, you know what? I'm gonna take that stock real quick and I'm gonna see May what I can do May with this 145. Mage over there saying, uh, I may lose the set, but I'm not gonna get two stocks. <laughs> yeah, I think Mage has other plans in mind. Yeah. Alright, look at this movement. Just keeping Oryx on the corner, just. Yeah. Oryx is just, he's just not gonna move into center stage. He's, uh -oh. Oh, oh, man. This is scary. Because that's exactly what he wants to avoid. Oh, there you go. Good call out on that roll. Yeah. Yeah. Back here. Yeah, I saw that roll and just let that. She throw it right back. 
And Tyler looked a little bit disappointed by that one. The Mage of, Mage of Symphonia 